Hello, welcome to the lecture introduction for EC4214 Introduction to Photonics, which will be served in the fall semester in 2020. My name is Hyun Ho Jung, an assistant professor at the School of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science (EECS) at GIST in South Korea. So I serve this course in the coming semester. Full semester, mainly for the fourth year undergraduate student, and this video will briefly introduce what we're gonna learn in this lecture. Photonics is simply all about physical science and technology of light. For instance, light generation, detection, propagation, modulation, amplification, and so on. So this sound, we need to know what the light is then. Maybe something beautiful, shiny, as you can see here in the picture? Yes, of course, but we are now electrical engineers who can say that the light is electromagnetic waves. So, in this course, we learn more about electromagnetic waves in our daily life. Then, why? Why do we need to study photonics? Because there are so many beautiful natural phenomena of light, for instance, blue sky, rainbow, aurora, hand reflection and water interface, sunlight diffraction, and, and others. The so the first reason to study photonics is that we can understand and explain the nature of light. Then once we understand underlying physics, we can use them to develop many different optical components and devices to be used in our daily life. So here are a couple of examples. Mirror, camera lens, hologram, laser, display, and optical communication. So the second reason is that we can develop new photonic devices and platforms for our better future, which is in fact what our department is doing now. So our department, EECS, has a great faculty members and labs to study and develop a variety of photonic devices and systems. So if you are interested in joining our department as a graduate student to conduct photonic research, this course would be a good basis to start building your own background in photonics. So this course will introduce classical physics of photonics where we can learn how the light is propagated, polarized, uh, interact with each other, or with other materials. Then some topics will be selected in laser physics to see how the light is generated and the quantum optics for small-scale optical phenomena. Of course, this lecture is open to all fourth-year undergraduate students, but it would be very helpful if you already took the course of engineering electromagnetics before. This lecture will be based on the book Introduction to Modern Optics and the lecture slide will be shared in the gel system. The lecture videos will be also updated in the gel every Tuesday and Thursday during the full semester. So here is the course grading for your information. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, feel free to email me. Then see you soon in my lecture. Thank you.